Hello guys, it's finally time to start talking about the real content of our channel, which is artificial intelligence and machine learning, and how we can use it um, in sports betting, how we can automate things, how we can have the better predictions, how we can generally use it and be successful. So I have separated that into five mm -hmm. uh, steps, five smaller steps. First, we will start with data, data scraping and how we process uh, the data. Uh, then uh, we will talk about um, how we can take this data into our machine learning and artificial intelligence models um, and use them to have predictions. Then um, we, we will have another step, um, those predictions, those numbers, to export them and filter them out into what fits our system. Uh, then we will talk about how we can uh, make this be automatic, automatic. And um, in the end, we will speak about how we can uh, create a dashboard that we will be able to read the picture, the pics uh, inside that. Uh, it can be an Excel file or it can be an interface that we can create through programming. Um, so this video today will be about that data scraping and how we can process it. So what I do is that I use Excel files in order to download the data from uh, different sites and uh, create tables, filter them, and then prepare them in a right structure um, that uh, I will be able to use them later in um, my models, statistical models. So you can do it by using an Excel file or you can do it just by coding. It's the same. Uh, for me, it's easier with Excel files because the data is not that much. Uh, it's easier for me to handle it, to, to, to see the data, to process the data. Uh, but later on, if the data is huge, uh, maybe using tables and um, probably Python, the tables inside Python or some libraries like Pandas inside Python, it can be faster. But for now, this for me uh, works fine. So uh, for every league, I have an Excel file that I scrape data and process them. So let's... Um, Let's open one of those files. It's the data in Allsvenskan, the Swedish league. So how do I get my data? So I had I have some queries over here. Um, so for example, I start with this table. You can see it here. So if you double click in here, you will see that I scrape data from a certain site. So you can see here this fbref.com, but you can find your own data. And then I made some changes over here until I am at, at this level. So this, um, if, if I update this Excel file, it will go into each query and it will update all those numbers. Um, then I have another, this is the, the, the shooting table. So it has uh, how much matches are played. Uh, each team that uh, plays in this team. Um, it has uh, how many goals, how many shots over here, shots on target, uh, shots on target percentage, uh, shots per 90 minutes, shots on target per 90 minutes. So it, it has a lot of information. And it's up to us to see which information is important. But for now, this is the table that I get. I don't process it. This is exactly the table that I get. Then I had for the goalkeeping, for the, for the same teams, uh, they start in goalkeeping. You can see them over here. Um, then we had some miscellaneous stats over here. And then the standard stats. So um, those are the most important stats over here. You can see the matches played, the age of each team, average age, 
playing time per matches, uh, playing time per minute. All those numbers are the same, so it don't make any difference. But you can see if we we'll hear even subs per minute, subs and unsubs. Okay, and then we can go to the league table. So th this is the most important part. Okay, so how many home matches for its team? How many wins? How many draws? Um, and how many losses? Um, how many goals for the team? How many goals against the team? Here is the goal difference. So this minus this. The home points, home points per game away matches so this was the home matches here is the away matches away wins and away draws away losses and there are some more um, and then the, what i do i create this table over here i call it feature table and here there are all the features that i want to to check compare and combine um, so what I do, um, I need to be able to uh, compare them. In order to compare it, you, you have to normalize them somehow. So my normalization is according to matches played. So if the matches played are 27, the home wins, I divide this home win that I get from another table. And you can see here, uh, I use a, a VLOOKUP function, a VLOOKUP function over here that goes into this table and uh, tries to, to find Malme, this team over here, uh, and then goes to another table, tries to find Malme as well, and divide those two. So we have a two VLOOKUP functions, this one over here and this one over here. Um, and because this is a table, if you write uh, this command to the first line over here, it takes it uh, to all the lines under it. So what I'm doing is um, here are the home wins divided to matches played. Here are the home draws divided to matches played, the home losses. Um, and then we have the home goal difference for each match, the home point for uh, each game, the away wins. So here are all the features that I, I think they are uh, they have value, but still I don't know if they have value or not. Um, so I have everything that I think it has value. Um, and then I also download these scores and fixtures, it says, um, which is the in reality the results and the um, next games. So uh, for example, here is the date the time this is downloaded and updated all the time i don't do anything uh, and the score is also updated so what i have done i have added a column over here which says result and here of this column i have a, um, a function here an if statement uh, which says that if this number is bigger than this then write eight that means home win uh, if this number is equal, then write D, draw. If this number is smaller, write A. So you can see that Sirius against your Gordon, it's A. This team won by 0, 2. Then this is A, this is home over here. Um, let's find a draw as well. Here is This is a draw. And if we go a little bit under, so um, the last game was this one, then they have another game on the 22nd of November um, and you can see that there is no score, so uh, there is no H or A over here because this is what I have done. If A score 1, that means this one, is nothing, then write nothing. So this is nothing because of that. Uh, and then what I have done, this I create this column, which is very important because this is the, my target column. Um, later on, I, I want to use it for um, my predictions. So this is the column that I use to train and to predict. Here are the feature columns. So 
Here I have VLOOKUP functions over here, as you can see, that go into this table that we spoke before, checks this uh, column over here, finds the name, and then takes um, the features, takes the numbers from those columns. So if it finds Malme, it adds up um, all the features over here. And then, so th this one checks home. If we go a little bit on the right, here you see that it, it checks this column away. So it does the same with away. So it's match, so this is between Sirius and your Gordon, has certain features. So it goes here, and let's say it plays Malme against Elfsborg. Uh, it goes and takes all those features in one line, and then takes the features of Elfsborg and put them on the right side. So it checks all the features in the row, so there, there should be two lines, but in reality it's one line for each game. And try to find um, correlations, you can see here. Then at the AI software, the, the model that we use, try to find co correlations between the numbers. So it judges which numbers and which correlations are important. And uh, uh, somehow it, it values, it gives a value. Then it goes to the next match, to the next match, and in the end, when we go to a match that hasn't played, it takes those values and try to, to find the correlation between the previous values that are used as training and try to predict this outcome. So this is how we do it. So what I do here is that I go into data, it just refresh everything, and all those numbers change according to what we want right now. Then we just press save and we do it for every um, for every uh, Excel file that we have, every database. In reality, I don't do this. I have written a code that I write that goes inside every Excel, updates all, and then saves it. So the AI software takes all the data from the Excel files uh, and then tries to analyze features and make all the statistical models. So the next video will be a, how about how we take the data and how we fix the statistical models uh, by writing code and in the end having predictions. So stay tuned, please subscribe and uh, see you on the next video.